Hi! Welcome to KMath TV. In this video, I'll show you how to multiply fractions. First example, let's multiply 3 fourths times 1 half. To multiply fractions, just multiply the numerators and multiply also the denominators. Then, express the answer in lowest term if possible. Okay, let's multiply the numerators. 3 times 1 equals 3. Multiply also the denominators. 4 times 2 equals 8. The answer is 3 eighths. 3 eighths is already in lowest term. Because the numerator and the denominator do not have other common factor aside from 1. So, this is the final answer. Next example, let's multiply 5 eighths times 2 thirds. Multiply the numerators. 5 times 2 equals 10. And multiply also the denominators. 8 times 3 equals 24. Okay, the answer is 10 over 24. But the numerator and the denominator are both even numbers. So we can still reduce this fraction to lowest term. We need to get the GCF of 10 and 24 and divide them by their GCF to reduce the fraction to lowest term. To get the GCF, you can use either listing method, prime factorization, or continuous division. In this problem, we will use continuous division to find the GCF of 10 and 24. Okay, what prime number can divide both 10 and 24? They are divisible by 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5 24 divided by 2 equals 12 5 and 12 do not have other common factor aside from 1 so we will not divide anymore now the gcf is the prime number that we used as divisor this is the gcf the GCF of 10 and 24 is 2. Okay, now let's divide the numerator and the denominator by their GCF 2 to reduce the fraction to lowest term. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 24 divided by 2 equals 12. The answer is 5 twelfths. Another problem, 8 tenths times 6 ninths. This time, we will use cancellation method. We use cancellation method to simplify the fractions first before multiplying, so that we will only deal with smaller numbers, which will make easier for us to solve the problem. We can use cancellation if the numerator and the denominator have other common factor aside from 1. We will just divide them by their greatest common factor or GCF. We can cancel the multiplicand or the first fraction if the numerator and the denominator have GCF. We can do the same thing here in the multiplier or in the second fraction if the numerator and the denominator have GCF. And we can also do cross cancellation. We can cancel the numerator here and the denominator here if they have GCF. Same thing, we can cancel the numerator here and the denominator here if they have GCF. Okay, now let's solve this problem using cancellation. Here, we can cancel the first fraction or the multiplicand because the numerator 8 and the denominator 10 have GCF. The GCF of 8 and 10 is 2. 
So we will divide them by 2 and cancel them. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Okay, now let's take a look at the multiplier or the second fraction. The numerator is 6 and the denominator is 9. They are divisible by 3 and that's their GCF. So let's divide them by 3 and cancel. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Okay, these are now the new numerators and denominators. Now, we can proceed to multiplication. Multiply the numerators. 4 times 2 equals 8. Multiply the denominators. 5 times 3 equals 15. Okay, the answer is 8 fifteenths. It is already in lowest term. That is the advantage of using cancellation before multiplying. Last example. 12 fifteenths times 10 eighteenths. Okay, let's use cancellation to solve this problem. Here, we can cancel the first fraction, 12 fifteenths. The numerator 12 and the denominator 15 have GCF. The GCF of 12 and 15 is 3. So let's divide them by 3. Okay, cancel, cancel. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Okay, we can also cancel or simplify the second fraction. 10 and 18 have GCF. Their GCF is 2. So let's divide them by and cancel. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. Okay, we already simplified the fractions. But look at the numerator of the multiplier or the second fraction and the denominator of the multiplicand, the first fraction. The numerator here is 5 and the denominator here is 5. They are the same. Of course, we can cancel them. Let's divide them by 5. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. Okay, let's do the same here. Let's divide this by 5. Then cancel. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. Okay, we are done with cancellation process. So, let's multiply now. Multiply the numerators. 4 times 1 equals 4. Multiply also the denominators. 1 times 9 equals 9. Okay, the answer is 4 ninths.